Hi, my name is Trey Mack, and I'm a graduate student in the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Vanderbilt University. In this module, we're going to be talking about diversity in the classroom. In particular, we're going to discuss issues that you might face as an instructor, as well as suggest strategies that you can use to leverage the diversity and ultimately create a more inclusive classroom atmosphere. The video you're about to watch is a dramatization of how the first day of class might go in an undergraduate physics lab. I will be playing the role of the TA, and the students in the class will be played by actual Vanderbilt students that volunteered to participate in the video. This video is meant to serve as an example of what not to do. Some of the mistakes that the TA is going to make, you might find are a little unrealistic or somewhat over the top, but the goal is to highlight language and behavior that singles out particular students based on their sex, race, age, etc. These kinds of mistakes can trigger students' anxieties and insecurities and could cause them to perform worse than they otherwise would or even learn less than they otherwise could. As you watch the video, look for moments where the TA does or says something that could make the students question their own abilities or feel like they don't really belong in the class. These kinds of moments are most likely more disruptive to the learning process instead of enhancing it. Yeah, come on in. Welcome to Introduction to Electric Circuits. Fair enough. Good, I think that should be everybody. Hi. So my name is Ernest Green, and I'm going to be your TA for the lab section of Physics 202, Introduction to Electric Circuits. You may call me either Ernest or Mr. Green, whatever you feel more comfortable with. You can even call me Dr. Green if you like, but I got to tell you, I'm not actually a doctor yet because I'm just a graduate student. OK, so the first thing I'm going to have you do is take a little pretest because I want to find out what you know right now, and I want to make sure that I'm teaching you new things. However, I've got to warn you, if you don't get at least an 80% on this pretest, then that probably means that you shouldn't be in this class. Um, if, that, if you need this class for your major, then you might need to retake some of the prerequisites or something like that. I know that might sound kind of harsh, but I just felt like I should be honest with you because I'd really hate for you to waste your time taking a lab that you're not really prepared for. OK, any questions? All right, now, ladies in the classroom, I need you to only use blue or black pens, OK? I've just had some problems in the past where women were using fancy colored pens and they bled through the paper. So I just made it a policy to only accept work in blue or black ink. Um, if you don't happen to have a pen like that, just come up to the front of the classroom and get one. I have pens available here for you, OK? OK, so now I'm going to hand out the tests. Just going to leave a few for each of you here. Oh, yeah, it's not a problem, but uh, come here, man. What's your name? James. James, uh, so as you can see, there's not so many black people in this class. And you know, I want us to show everybody that black students can be just as good as anyone else. That includes always being prepared for class. So it's all right. I know it's, this is the first time, but next time, make sure you got a pen, all right? All right. Hey, Mr. Green. Yeah. Uh, is the I here being imaginary or the color? Uh, could you speak up a little bit? I'm actually having a little trouble understanding you. Uh, is is the I here being imaginary or the color? Um, if you could, could you just just use your normal speaking voice? Yeah. So, this this I here. Uh huh. Is it mean imaginary or the color? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, so this I, like, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the imaginary number. It's, it's not the current. If you can pick up on this, you're obviously prepared for this class, and you're probably going to do fine. But if you are planning on working in the US after school, then you really have to improve your English, like, just, just being honest. Like, it was hard for me to understand you, even when you were using your normal speaking voice. All right, thank you.
So someone made a good point about one of the questions. Uh, in question two, where I have the equation written for the voltage, this I here is meant to be the imaginary number. Um, but in electronics and electric circuits, uh, they often write J instead. And that's not confusing with the current. So this I is the imaginary number, not the current, OK? OK, so now I need to collect your tests. So please finish up and put them on the edge of the table by the center aisle, and I'll come by and collect them. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. So even if you did well on this pretest, it's still going to be pretty hard to pass this class. You're going to have a lot of work to do outside of class. I remember when I took this lab, I spent at least four hours working on my lab reports and getting my thoughts together and analyzing the data. Now, I will be available with office hours. So you'll be able to come by my office, ask me any questions. You can also email me at any time if you have any questions. But given the workload for this course, so you're probably going to have less time for things like Facebook and Hulu and Netflix. But I know I don't have to worry about you goofing off on Facebook. I'm talking to these younger ones mostly. But I remember you from my other lab section, and I remember you were pretty on the ball. So you're all physics majors, so you've seen equations like this before, and you recognize that it can be written as cosines and sines, right? Uh, Mr. Green, I'm actually a biomedical engineer major. You're a biomedical engineer. Is anyone else in here a non-physics major? What do you do? I'm a pre-med. You're pre-med? And, and what do you do? I'm in the process of switching from anthropology to physics. You're going to switch to physics from anthropology? Yeah, I've already taken the basic physics and math courses. I've always really liked it, and I've been working with my dad on some gadgets and computer stuff, so I've just decided to do it, to become a physics major. You're switching to physics from anthropology? Anthropology? Good luck with that one.